Right, good morning everyone. Um, I just wanted to share with you my wedding shoe. Now, or my wedding slipper should I say. Now I did tell you that I happened to get these. I showed you the shoes in the video. Um, they are Asian shoes, uh, like a slipper. I actually wanted to get them without the back on, but I, uh, you know, now I've done it, I like it. So I've just put a little bit of braid all the way along and followed the, you know, the stitching of the shoe. On the back, I've made my little design like this. Now, what I didn't do, I didn't make that one, but everything else has been handmade. And then on the side of the shoe, which both sides would look exactly the same, but I'm not going to um, do them exactly the same because I'm not keeping them as a pair. This gonna, gonna, is going to go in the shop for sale. Um, now, bear in mind, I did have to pay a fair bit for the shoe, but um, hey ho, that's what's going to happen. It's going in the shop and somebody else can have the pleasure of it. But uh, everything's been handmade from the little buds. The leaves, the big leaf. I just love the actual design. I think it's come out really, really pretty. Now, I have to tell you, my idea is not mine. It came from Lambs... Uh, and Oh, sorry, Lambs and Ivy Design. She is an amazing uh, flower creator, and she does do a lot of this sort of thing. So her idea... She gave me the idea to do one similar to hers. And they're, not, they're nothing like her. She's an amazing flower maker. Um, and the way she puts everything together. So I've given it a go. I absolutely love it. And of course, this would, it's wire, so it can go over the foot. Um, yeah. I love it. I'm thrilled with it, to be honest. It does look beautiful. And I absolutely love the heel. So like I say, these are the sort of flowers and that and, and filler things that we're going to make. And if you can get yourself a slipper. Um, I do have some slippers coming in, ladies. I actually do. I've just remembered. I forgot about them. <laughs> um, I managed to get hold of some slippers. You're going to have to... You know, like the um, ballerina slipper that I did. Well, that's sold, so I can't show you that. But if... When they come in, I think I managed to get white and pink. And all you have to do is to put the wadding in the middle to make it, you know, stand up. Because it's just a, a lace slipper. And then you can do something like this. And uh, like I say, I'm going to be taking you through how to make the flowers and that. But um, I just love them. I think it's come out really, really pretty. Even that side, you know. Look. I'll show you the back again. But you can put on and add tassels and whatever you want to do, beading, chain, whatever you want to do. But um, I just wanted to make that. I've always wanted to do one since I saw lamb's wool and uh, lamb's, lamb's wool, lamb's, let me find out. It's lamb's and ivy design, sorry. I do apologise, Lambs and Ivy. <laughs> and I'm sorry I've forgotten your name because I haven't, I know that we wrote to each other, but um, she was really, really nice and sent me some flowers of hers. And I, would, I just adore them. But, yeah. So I'm just going to take some shots and then put this video up. But uh, I think, you know, I'll show you. Those who don't know how to put one together, we will do that. We'll make the flowers and then we'll put this together. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care now. Oh, don't forget, the slippers that are coming in will be the kits. So you will get everything you need to make these. And then follow me when I show you how to do it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.